Good morning, Alexa. How are you doing? Oh, another beautiful day. No. What's up guys, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. We are getting into we had the brother, Sydney's brother. So it's an ultimate fancy shirt move by Dewey at the end. The shoe is what? What? No, I was talking about the no. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, oh, oh no. Yeah. If you want the when it being Gavin's I would still continue with the same cast, I don't know. New characters, but they would also have uh, legacy characters. Hello guys! How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> 2024, right? Hmm. Can piss off. To be honest, it's been very up and down um, this year. Um, I, as always, need to remind myself that I am a human, even though sometimes I think I'm an alien. Um, I am human. I go through everything. We all go through so many different things, emotions. We all have different um, ideas of what negative things, how they affect us. This year has been so weird for me. I have just felt so stuck. Things just don't seem to be working out right now. Yeah, I've just been going through it, guys, to be honest. Um, I honestly thought 2024 was gonna be like a fresh start for so many things. Um, but no, it has, been, it has been a lot, to be honest. I am Mark Ferris, and on this channel, we pick ourselves up. We look around and we realize um, what's going right in our lives and what I am thankful for, and what I'm grateful for, and what I'm appreciative of. Life is just tough. It's, life is tough. <laughs> Documenting life is also tough. No one's life goes smoothly. Oh my God, no one's life goes smoothly. But like I said, what do we do? We pick ourselves up, we get ready, we slap on our favorite bronzer, and we just keep going, because that's all we can do. But I don't want you to worry about me, because um, these are all things that I'll probably look back in like five years and think, oh, that's why it happened, you know? Got, um, got aired again on a dating app. I'm just give it, I just give up. The love of my life, who I thought the love of my life, is not the love of my life. I'm gonna have to accept that, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm surrounded by amazing people, um, like the best friends and the best family, so I do know that. And you know me, I don't like to dwell on anything negative for too long. Um, I go through it, I feel it, I respect it, I respect that it's life, and I try to understand why these things are happening. Um, and then I and then I pull myself back up. Just know as always, comic sent the comment section is always open um, to share as much as you feel comfortable with. Everyone is fighting these battles that they don't talk about. Everyone is going through stuff that they don't share. Um, just remember that the next time you feel like you're looking at someone online and you just think they've got it all together, which I'm, I'm, I'm one million percent sure that they are not. When I really need some sort of reassurance that I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right thing, I will bump into one of you in the street. And this is, and I bumped into a lovely girl in Lush and just her words touched me more than she'd ever know. Like I obviously walked back to the train because um, it was in the train station. I walked to the, my train like tearing up because it was just what I needed to hear that in that split second. 
So whatever my videos may do for you, your support and anything that you give to me is, is appreciated tenfold. Um, <laughs> oh God. But yeah, just know that I'm always here for you guys. You guys are always here for each other in the comments. Whatever you're going through, we can go through this together. I just want you to know that you're not alone. I think that's the main thing, but I'm absolutely fine. I've got a sponsor today because I'm starving and it's HelloFresh. HelloFresh, sorry for that rant. Hello Fresh, thanks for working with me on this video. So, HelloFresh obviously delivers to your door every week. My favorite thing about HelloFresh is not only that it gets delivered to your house, you can pick out your meals. And I, as I always refer to them as Mark Friendly. These are the recipe cards. So this week we've got the 21 day aged rump steak and pesto sauce. The roast potato bacon and crispy kale salad, which I think I'm gonna go for, yum. We've got sausages in mushroom sauce, which looks like the ultimate cozy comfort food because obviously when you look outside, it is pretty much winter. All the ingredients, everything you need is down to the last grain of salt is included, and like I said, it has a very mark-friendly, step-by-step recipe with photos, because if you're like me and you're quite a visual person, I like to be able to see it. Each recipe comes in its own special little baggie to make sure that you've got everything you need and things don't get muddled up. And because I love you, I have a code, I have an offer. So to get 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months, plus, free gifts, make sure to use this code. And it will sort you out. The food is obviously delicious, you don't need me to tell you that. Um, I've, been, I've been using HelloFresh for so many years. It's perfect for like, if you're single, family, relationships, roommates, it's just really nice. And there's so, so many recipes to choose from. There is something for everyone. I think I'm gonna go for the roast potato, bacon and crispy salad, because that just looks Unbelievable. Hello Fresh, thank you so much for working with me again. I love ya. The code number is 25 and I match it up with my 25 bag. It's got everything in here that I need. So guys, this is my lunch. This is the roast potato bacon and crispy kale salad with honey and balsamic gray glaze. My mouth is like salivating. I'm so excited for this. This is probably the, one of the best salads I've ever made. I was gonna take a photo of it for Instagram, but I've already eaten it. Mm. I'm getting new bar stools tomorrow guys because these oh my god these are so wobbly the amount of times I've had issues with these and don't get me wrong I love Darnell more than anything in this world and everything I get from Darnell which is pretty much my whole flat never does me wrong but these stools not for me so I'm actually gonna get like just little stools just something just like to fit under less maintenance easy to put up um, the same sort of colour, but yeah, this one is, these are just so wobbly. Every time my friends come out, they're like, are these safe to sit on? Maybe it's how I put them up, who knows. I found like a new YouTubers as well to watch, Raji, Raji D Pack. Um, they're like four friends and they just like, re like react to like horror films and movies and I just really love them. Oh, the bacon is so good. Oh my God. I have some plans for the flat. Nothing too drastic, but I would like to move, like my mum's had her eye on these seats for, since the day I got them. And I just think like these seats are really nice, but I don't really come and sit here that much. And I just think this is such a wasted space where I can literally have like a really nice setup here, maybe a bigger sofa or like maybe like a recliner. Um, because when my friends come over, we either just like sit at the, the, the kitchen island, which is fine. But I'm like, oh, it, it would be nice if I had like a little something going on around here that we could all sit and like chat with. This was always going to be my podcast corner, but that hasn't happened um, yet. Oi, oi! But I need to clean my, um, so much going on. Look at the wind out there. I need to clean my ensuite, head to toe. Give it a good old clean. Let's get my little rag. There's the right drama going on over there. Guys, as always, I forgot where I parked my car. <laughs> I feel like if I don't use my car every single day and I park it, I'm just gonna lose my car. That's obvious, that's one of the things I kept on my, um, my dating profile. Talking of dating, speaking to someone the other day, 
I know like I never want this to be my like sort of niche but I'm another year older this year I've never had a serious relationship I've never had a boyfriend and it's just like am I ever gonna meet anyone I was speaking to someone the other day who was aware that I am on social media which is cool because usually it's like ooh. When do I tell someone that I'm on social media? When I tell someone I'm on social media, it goes of either two ways. Number one, they don't want to date me. Um, purely because they just don't want to be part of the social media world. I get it. I respect everyone. I pride myself by being a big head in this situation that I am 99% the exact same in real life so when people watch my videos you're seeing me so whether or not they get put off by that i don't know <laughs> it's so easy for someone to be like oh yeah let me just check out his videos oh no he's not a bit of me fair enough which i think is what happened the other day because matching with this guy he saw like clips of me through tiktok and stuff um embarrassing moments whatever embracing it love it it's me i'm not changing for anyone not again no no some people just don't want to date with a following and that's absolutely fine and i just feel like with what some people lack these days is just communication um because i don't know like like i've spent so long trying to like invest in myself and solo traveling and my confidence and like all that sort of stuff it's just so hard when you get knocked down a peg or two because someone can't communicate and i know that's not my problem but it's just hard it just always makes me feel like i'm taking like a step back and i said the other day i was just like i'm i've smashed solo travel life i know what i can do on my own i'm so proud and i will always be so proud of what i've accomplished on my own but that doesn't mean that I don't want to meet someone because I do. I don't know, because I'm just, I love the romance, you know? I, I just love the one-on-one -on -one forever sort of fairy tale romance, which is just probably my ruin. I don't know. It's just like the psychic I saw the other day, she was like, just to let you know, you're not going to meet anyone now. You're going to meet someone in your 40s i was like okay cool like i i it would be nice to know if i meet someone but yeah i would i would love to know like i think i've asked this question a few years ago could you date someone who has like a following or a platform who or who is a content creator i just i'd love to know i just find it so interesting hello my kidneys oh hello you say hello to everyone coming back hello come on Titi. nose bronze is a bit much isn't it good morning my darlings how are you doing welcome back it's sunday how are you doing um today i'm meeting up with a friend i did absolutely nothing yesterday i was supposed to go to my friend's barbecue but i was like i just want you know i i just wanted to lay and the wind outside apparently it was like 70 miles an hour so this morning i'm gonna go meet up with my friend um now i've never heard this before until recently I've got a personality flat. How cool is that? I, it makes sense, but I think it was one of the nicest things that anyone's ever said to me. Like, basically, a personality flat is where it's like your personality rather than a, um, a design choice. Like, if that makes sense. Because um, obviously, like, there are design elements to it. But I think, especially in like that section in my bedroom and my TV room, it's like personality based and I just I'm obsessed with that. So yeah, um that's all I've got to say. This is my favourite jar as well at the minute. Um it's got loads of like salty snacks. Um I'm one of those people that gets really like bloated if I have like a, even a smidge of salt or um anything like that. But I just keep it over there so I can just have a little also there's a there's a brand called Dead Cool. Um, and it's in uh, Space NK, and I discovered it the other week. And the smell is taunt. This is the um, washing up, um, what's it called? <laughs> washing machine D detergent. But if you get a chance to smell taunt by Dead Cool, I'm wearing it today, and it is so fresh and unique and like skin like. It smells like, um, a, like a, a, a more like, 
sexier version than uh, Glossy AU. I'm excited to go have a catch up, like a chilled little Sunday morning catch up, and then I'm gonna go get my new stools, and then we can put up my new stools. I'm really hungry as well, but I think I'm gonna wait until I'm back to have like another HelloFresh meal. 60% um, off your first box, and then 25% off your next two boxes and free gifts with the code Ferris2024. Love you HelloFresh, check it out, it's the best. I'm gonna go for this one when I come home, I'm so excited. Sausages and mushroom sauce with garlic mash and roasted carrots. Oh! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three. The new stools have arrived. Oh. Two of these stools are heading for the tip, unfortunately, because they are just out of out of order. And the other two are gonna go to my dad's garage because there's always room in there. Right. <clears throat> Amazing. Loaded. Okay. This is them. £39 each. I hope it's not too much DIY, because you know what I'm like. Went into Superdrug in Wimbledon, and I'm just gonna show you what I got, just in case anyone's interested. Hmm, so I have a soap box. So this is basically gonna be for my setting powder. So I'm, I have, I wear three types of setting powder from Huda Beauty, and basically I wear, I mix it all together. So I needed like a big pot to mix it all together. Um, so I'm using a soap box, so thank you for that. Also, I got this brow, Builder Brow. This is new, I think. Um, in the shade, hmm. Deep, deep brown, um, and yeah, it looks really cool. Just to like, you know, sparse up the brows. And then this, anything to do with cherry, I was like, oh my God. So this is the Sainsbury, um, this is the Superdrug, um, cherry blossom body scrub because obviously sometimes I get a bit tigery bread with the old tan. So this smells absolutely phenomenal. And how much was that? I mean, it was six pound, which I feel like is still very expensive, but this is going to go a long way. Um, so yeah, that's what I got from Sainsbury's. Oh my god, that's what I got from Superdrug. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh I love it. Sturdy. Oh yeah, cheers anyway, yeah. Oh my god, no, I love it. Oh that's hot. Oh yeah, this is exactly what we need. Amazing. Guys, what do we think? Oh I love them. I just think they tuck under so much. They so they tuck under a lot better. What do we reckon? Oh, I did nothing. I really like them. They're so sturdy. Oh. I just feel like they're so sturdy. They were forty pounds each. <clears throat> Right, um, I just, I can't, I, I honestly cannot talk to anyone, like, in a flirty way. I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, if anyone else can relate, can we just, oh my god, just make up a, I should just create a group for people who just don't know how to flirt, especially over texts. I think I'm so much better in real life. But then again, some people really misconstrue my 
just behavior as flirting. Like when people say I look into people's souls when they speak, and I'm like, even my friends have said that. Like when I when someone speaks to me, I really look into their eyes and it makes them feel like I'm in love with them, which I'm not, but I just that's how I listen and I concentrate. And I think it's polite to look in people's eyes. But yeah, I just over the over like chatting over texting, oh my god, I am just the world's worst. Like I don't think anyone's no, there are people out there that are quite smooth. Um, I just don't think I'm smooth. I'm too erratic. I just, I don't know. But I'm not going to change myself. If someone likes me for me, amazing. If they don't, then all right, fine. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I feel so secure and safe. Like, honestly, because the other chairs, God bless them, I've had them for a couple of years now. They were on their, literally, no pun intended, their last legs. Like this, the one that was here, I have sat on my friend's lap, which I know I shouldn't have. And like, he's a big muscular guy. And I sat on his, <gasps> is that a ladybird? Oh my God. Cute. I love ladybirds. Hilly. Oh my God, I've never seen a ladybird run so fast. Welcome to the house. Oh my God, did I show you that I had a lava lamp? I'm just gonna make my bed and then it'll warm up. Guys. It's not fully going because I've just turned it on, but oh my god, this makes me so happy. This corner is honestly my favourite thing in the entire world. It just makes me so happy. It's definitely been, I was speaking to my sister the other day, it's definitely been a grieving coping mechanism for me and this whole sort of nostalgic buying all the stuff that I remember from my childhood that we really take for granted when you grow up and you feel like you don't really need it but yeah that has definitely been my coping mechanism and how I've dealt with losing my aunt um and what a wonderful way to recapture my childhood who obviously my aunt was the biggest part of just all it, I've never had a lava lamp, don't get me wrong, because Jesus Christ, they were so expensive. There was no way we could have afforded a lava lamp. But just to have everything around me that means so much to me, um, like it doesn't make, it doesn't have to make sense. It makes sense, but it doesn't have to make sense to anyone how you deal with certain things. And it's just made me, just made me so happy. Setting up for my favourite time ever. Movie night, it's Sunday night. I'm not sure what film I'm gonna watch. My parents actually recommended a, um, um, so it's called, what is it called? Apparently they were watching it through their eyes. Devil in Ohio? Devil in Ohio, which is definitely not my parents' usual type of thing but they said it's really good but really scary so i'm gonna give that a go i think it's on netflix so guys i'm just about to start devil in ohio and i've just seen that cleaning up is now on netflix oh my god if you haven't seen this with sheridan smith it, it is honestly so good i i could actually watch this again because i saw it years ago um but i remember it being amazing i think me and zoe watched it together i'm not sure but Oh my god, it was amazing. Um, so yeah, oh, it's number two. I definitely recommend you checking that out. Also, I need to watch The Gentleman. Everyone keeps telling me to watch that. All right. Let's go. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, I've had a morning. I just hate when people turn up to my flat unannounced. I just had like a... Um, a, a man like knock on the door trying to come in and like sort my boiler out but there's been no appointments made it was just like a drop in and I'm like with my little security thing I'm like does this happen is this legit and now I'm panicking I'm like I just I don't know I feel like it's such a scary time in the world that I just I don't know my my barriers are always up and you've got to be really sensible and careful and I'm like I had no idea someone was going to drop in and like try and look at my boiler. Like I'm not just going to let someone in the house because um, that's scary. So I think it's legit, but I haven't heard anything about it. I'm going to try and contact the company and be like, 
hi, it's probably better if you let me know that you're coming rather than just turning up and giving me a little fright, saying that my boiler needs to be fixed. Okay guys, it was legit. I feel so bad because that poor man, I was like, I just can't let you in because you can't turn up unannounced. Um, nothing makes me more paranoid and anxious than like, I don't know, withheld numbers ringing my phone or people turning out out of the blue. I mean, fair enough, I think it's a very common anxiety. But like, I just said to my dad, because <laughs> I'm obviously a child, I was like, can you just ring them up and just make sure that they're just like legit and then they were um, like a real company and they're doing the right thing because because on the slip of paper that he gave me, there was a massive spelling mistake with the company that my that owns my flat, like the management company. Um, oh my God, he was like speeding in. So my dad rung him, bless my dad, love you dad. And I was like, and it's all legit. And the woman said, oh yeah, shouldn't have been, like completely understand why you didn't let him in. Just ring us back and we'll book you in for a, an actual like boiler check. Oh my God, I can relax now. But that's so scary and I'm just like, you should just never answer the door, ever answer the door like especially in this day and age just never answer the door because it's like you can't just turn up at someone's house with a slip of paper and like a bucket and just expect to be let in because you say oh we need to check your boiler no not in 2024 it's a sad time we're living it really is we're gonna go to this little park um that i've never been before i need to google where it is where's my phone now i said nah there was no way i would be able to remember where this place is i was like i'm gonna be clever i'm gonna see if i can get there without knowing but no it's an eight minute drive away perfect 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 you know, I've never seen that film. You know, perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't. I say that all the time. I don't know what film that's from. <sighs> just, you know, that wash of just like all that anxiety just washing away. Oh, maybe I'll have two almond croissants now. <laughs> this is pure happiness. Right, let's pull down here. I think we're turning on. Isn't the world like massive? Because it's like all these places around my area that I've grown up with and I've just never experienced any of this <laughs> but yeah we're about all oh, these houses are nice oh bloody hell a bit posh around here a bit too, too a bit too posh for old Mark Ferris oh bloody hell that looks like the holiday cottage that one god this all these wonderful places that I've never visited in my life Anyway, shut up, Mark. We are a minute away. Oh my God, where the hell am I? Oh, I've gone in the wrong way. Once again, Mark, keep getting lost. Oh my God. Oh God, just even this makes me so happy. Right. Right, not getting up there. Jesus, I'm gonna have to climb a wall at my bloody hell. Just in case you guys have never seen a park before. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a really nice, fresh way with the little daisies. Nice fresh way to start a new week. Who knows what's gonna happen? Positive vibes. But yeah, this is lovely. Just to get my little walks in. I actually walked home from the pub the other night. I should, really shouldn't have done that. And you know, you get like um, shin splints. Is that the word? Because I see loads of people who do running, they rub this stuff on their shins and apparently like, it stops them from getting all like splinters or whatever they're called. Um, should not have walked home from the pub. That's very naughty. This is nice, never been here, and it's just up the road from me. Oh, bloody hell, who needs, who needs American road trips, eh, when you've got this on your doorstep? Oh, look! They must be little badger or mole mounds. Oh my god, I love moles. Oh, this is lovely. This reminds me of the time I got lost in that Aberdeen, um, what's it called? That Aberdeen wilderness thing and I discovered that really creepy house in the middle of the woods and I got lost. That was lovely and not to mention that every single car that I've passed has let me go through. That never happens in my ends. If you can find free things to do that brings you joy, make your coffee from home, bring it out, walk, get a bus, drive to your nearest park. I tried running. I, I'm not a runner. I'll never be a runner. My knees hurt already. Um, <laughs> um, 
but walking, ah, uh, I could do it every single day. When I first started um, solo traveling and it got a bit crazy because of all the places I was going to, I was like, you don't have to do what I'm doing at the slightest. I have like loads of bucket list locations that I want to see. And obviously, yeah, they are a little bit out of touch. Um, I am aware of that um, in a sense that I know it's not, it, I'm in a very, very lucky position to be able to see all my dream movie locations. Um, <clears throat> But that's why I've always said, like, you... No, where's this taking me? Sorry, I just need to concentrate. Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone's so lovely here. Oh, my God. Um, that's why I'm like, oh, my God, explore your hometown. Explore your own city. Because you'll find, like, hidden gems like that. Like, what's this? Just a charity shop. It looks amazing. Um... Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to always be, like, really fancy places that you go to or, like, scream houses or, you know, Salem. All these amazing places that I've been to. But you can really experience life just up the road. <laughs> I'm going to go because I'm yapping on. I don't know if you can see it, but in the distance, you can see the London skyline. You can see the Shard. It's so beautiful, especially on a clear day. But you probably won't be able to see it. <laughs> So guys, I'm calling the police. They did not have now on croissant, um, which is fine, obviously. But I saw that they had, I'm just gonna try this with you before I end the vlog. This Toulouse sausage roll, which looks absolutely uh, incredible. Wow, that is lush. It's a big boy as well. I have to get on my hands and knees in a minute and get all, these <coughs> get all these crumbs out. That is incredible. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will be back very soon. I love you so much. And um, take care of yourselves. Always here for you. Mwah. Love ya. Bye.